Hello everyone, and wow, this is my brother Ross, say hi to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> I, um, yeah, we've got, finally arrived, I mean, if it wasn't for the help of my brother, I probably wouldn't have got this in, so, and my parents are standing over there, so thank you everyone. So yeah, I, I expected this, I expected to pre-order this back at launch but all the pre-orders were gone and I was hoping it would come at Christmas time but that didn't happen either and since it's March, the month of my birthday so what the heck, I've got myself a PlayStation 5. So enough diddly dabbling, let's, oh also I, my brother also ordered another DualSense controller so that's excellent and also a t-shirt which I'll show you all later. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. Can you yeah, around that too? Yeah, thanks. So if you hold on to that. Okay. Right, so you take all the weight. Yeah. Pull up. Got it. Right. Wow. There you go. Right, okay. And then, yeah, pull that up. So I think it's still, still a bit up. Yeah. Um, pull that up. Okay. So just like the unboxing I did for the Scarpa saga, <laughs> this is actually the first PlayStation. I don't want to go off topic. This is the first PlayStation I actually got at launch. I mean, I didn't get a PlayStation Three when it came out in two thousand six, two thousand seven because, well, there you go. I also didn't get a PlayStation Four at launch because there wasn't really any games that grabbed my attention at launch. But now I have a PS Five, and there are games like. Sackboy, Miles, Mor Miles, Mor Miles Morales, and Ratchet and Clank coming out in June. So, I'm just bring out some instruction booklets. Oh, start guide. But I'll figure it out when I plug it in. And oh man, here's the dual sense. Hmm. Yeah, the, the, I can feel the. I've, I've already held the dual sense because. My brother already owned a PlayStation 5 before me. <laughs> <laughs> so I already know what a Joe Sense feels and it really does put the Joe Shock 4 to shame. In fact, I think it might be my favourite Joe uh, PlayStation controller and I can see Sony's pretty much taking a page out of Nintendo's book with the haptic feedback. It's basically the HD rumble from the Switch and the adaptive triggers. A more, it's basically the analog triggers for the GameCube, even though it was only used for Mario Sunshine and Bleach's Mansion, but I'd say it's more advanced than both of them, so Sony took what Nintendo did and built upon it, so yeah, but here we come, power cable, and the USB cable, which would charge the controller, and Oh, it's the stand. I thought it was the HDMI cable. Um, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the HDMI cable. Thank you. And here comes the piece, the resist. How do I get it out? Drop my hand. Uh, yes, please. Well, we put it on its side and pull it out. It's probably a good idea. Back. Pull that side. You pull it. Oh, there you go. There, go. there go. comes the piece de resistance. Oh, okay. uh, probably obscured the camera a little bit there, but what the heck? <laughs> and here comes the piece de resistance. It's the PlayStation 5 itself. Mm -hmm. well, that, okay. yeah. Wow, it's actually really, really heavy. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I expected it to be big, but I didn't expect it to be so heavy. And um, in case you're wondering where I'm gonna set it up, I'm gonna set it up at its side because one, even though know it looks cool standing up like that, but I'm putting it on its side because one, it's a bit awkward putting in the disc that way with the the disc reading thing facing that way and the label facing this way, so it's a bit awkward. So if I, mm -hmm. and Two, a friend of mine who owns a PS who owns a PS Five actually pointed out that Dusk is able to get in standing up that way. So I decided to what the heck, have it down there, and 
Yeah, that's basically the station. Oh yeah, the jewel singers. Thank you. And the t-shirt. Um, haptic yeah. feedback, adaptive triggers, built-in microphone, signature comfort. See those there? <laughs> yeah. And, okay, come on, there we go. And, another chill sense controller. So, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, when I played a PS4 game using chill sense controller, it mainly felt a bit weird. I said, though, it's just, Stuff. Yeah, but with PS5 controller, it felt natural. When playing a PS5 game, I mean, I know. And one more thing to unbox. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Player one. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that. Oh. Hey, here I am. <laughs> so, yeah, that probably concludes my unboxing of the PlayStation 5. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And thank you for being for helping me out and being part of this unboxing, Ross. You're welcome. You're welcome. So I'm going to go plug it in. Hello. Yeah, this video I'm recording right now is a week later because I actually did that unboxing about a week ago and well, I just having trouble uploading it because, well, it just been uploading to my laptop for some reason. And also just uni work and stress. <laughs> and also playing my PS5 kind of got into the way of that. So I do apologise for the unboxing coming out a week later. But as a matter of fact, I think it's a good thing that it probably came out as it did because I get to give you my... Uh, that's just my computer. Um, I, I get to give you my thoughts on the PS5. I think it's excellent. I, I really love the DualSense and I think the HDR looked really good on a lot of the games that were displayed, like PS4 and other and PS5. Yeah, so the PS5 games, I've been playing Spider-Man Miles Morales, uh, Sackboy The Big Adventure and as of recently, Crash Bandicoot, it's about time. And those, I mean, Crash Bandicoot were really benefited from the PS5 upgrades and the dual sense used in Sackboy. I mean, I've been playing Sackboy a lot more now that I have a PS5 and I have to upgrade it. And yeah, I just love how Sony handled game upgrades where if you have a previous version, like if you have the PS4 version, they're like, oh, you got the PS4 version? Well, that's okay, you can just upgrade for free. Well, before, like, if you owned the PS... Like, when the PS4 was just new, like, when the PS3 was still a thing, if you owned the PS3 version, so they were like, well, that's what's that? You've got the PS3 version? Well, that's too bad. You've just got to buy the PS4 version again. <laughs> and, yeah, so I'm really glad that Sony handled the upgrade situation really well, and I'm hoping for some more uh, game upgrades in the future, like... I don't know, maybe Kingdom Hearts 3? Just saying, Nomura. Anyways, that's basically my quick unscripted review on the PS5 and happy gaming.